So let's have a look at uh, enabling connectivity to Link Online or Link in Office 365 just using PowerShell. If you're um, a bit of a script junkie, um, you'll probably find it easier to manage 365 using PowerShell. Also, it gives you access to um, a few other things that are not there in the admin portal, things like uh, meeting and conferencing policies. So let's have a look at installing it. So here we are. This is Windows 8.1. So this is running PowerShell 4. You need at least PowerShell 3 uh, to be able to do this. Uh, and there are a couple of modules you need to install, which if you look at my blog, I've provided the links for. And they are these. So we've got the link sign-in assistance, which is that one. And then there's the actual online PowerShell modules. So let's get those installed, and then I'll show you how to connect. The first one, we'll get the online PowerShell installed. There we go. So, they're the commands we're going to be using. So, let's fire up PowerShell and I'll show you how to get connected. You can do that from your menu or whatever. Uh, you see mine's there, Windows PowerShell. Let's just shrink this up so we can see what we're doing. There we go. So, the first thing we're going to do uh, is actually import the link online connector, which is pretty easy. So, it's import module link online connector. There we go. And what we're going to do now is add our credentials to a variable, which is that command dollar credential equals get dash credential should prompt us now for a username and password which I'm going to pop in and it will now store that username and password actually in that credential okay so the next thing we need to do then is actually create the new session again it's pretty easy the commands down the bottom it's also in my blog as well so we're going to set it up as dollar session equals new dash cs online session not misspelled like it is in my text file there and we're going to pass it that credential that we've just put into the variable there we go now ju just as a bit of a heads up this can sometimes take a little while to run and certainly the first time you connect on a workstation it can take a couple of minutes so let's just leave it to run for a moment okay, that didn't take too long um, the next thing we're going to do is actually import that session that we've just created really easy to do import dash ps session again if I could spell correctly it would be far easier too many s's in that for my head uh, and then the variable that we've just created which is dollar session and there we go you can see it actually importing everything uh, we're connected up we're uh, now should be able to see our tenant information so um, for example, get CS tenant will give you all our tenant information there. There we go. Um, so you're now connected to PowerShell, uh, to a link online with PowerShell, and you can manage it as as and well that you want to.